Welcome back. Today we are releasing the first big feature to our community platform, which are improvement proposals for development of Agent Zero system. Before I get into the showcase, let me remind you that our framework is completely free and open source. You can check out agent-zero.ai to learn more about the system and its features. There's also a lot of videos on YouTube about Agent Zero. We have our official YouTube channel, including installation guides and feature showcases. The community platform can be accessed from the web in the community section and go to community platform button. This takes me to the front page of the community platform and I will go through the menus in a bit. But what the community platform is and how it works. The community platform is being developed to support the main development of Agent Zero system in a more decentralized and open way. The platform is backed by blockchain, the base chain, and the AOT token and its signatures functionality. On the main web in token sections in source code, the token signature functionality is explained in a lot of detail, but in a nutshell, Signatures are like a digital data stamps stored on blockchain, confirming the authenticity and integrity of data on the community platform or anywhere else on the web. So any action the user takes on the community platform, whether it's an improvement proposal creation, posting a comment, upvoting, everything creates a signature on blockchain confirming the action and no user content can exist on the community platform without being confirmed on chain. Signatures in the contract can also hold an amount of AOT tokens as a stake. That can be unstaked at any time or it can be locked for a period of time. This allows us to prevent any double voting or any other misuse of the platform. Thanks to this direct connection to the blockchain and the AOT token, the platform itself doesn't require any additional authentication. It is all done simply by connecting a Web3 wallet and all the authentication and confirmation is done directly on chain. This means the community platform does not have a database of users. We are not collecting any data. Everything is on chain. Everything I'll be explaining today is also described in the About section, including how signatures and stakes work, how improvement proposals work and what they are exactly, and also our rules and terms. So please spend a minute reading through these. They will really help you understand what the community platform is and what are its goals. Proposals can be created by community members in Proposals Create. Currently, there is a minimal stake of 100 AOT tokens required to create a proposal. This prevents spam and misuse. And the amount may change in the future based on user experience. In the create section, there's a reminder about the rules and terms. And agreeing these takes me to the form to create an improvement proposal. I have already started writing a proposal before this video. I haven't posted it yet. So here I can select from one of the categories of the proposal. Currently, we start with two categories, AO development and AI technology analysis. We will expand the list of categories in the future. Now to start the platform, we need to make sure that most of the improvement proposals being posted here can actually be materialized. I am required to place title and content, and I can select the initial stake. The minimum right now is 100, but I can increase it to any amount I want. This amount will count as the initial upvote. There's no problem in leaving this to minimum and adding the upvote manually later. Now, when I click send, a signature confirmation pop-up will show, and I am required to allow the spending of 100 AOT as the stake. And here are details of the signature that is being issued on blockchain. You don't need to worry about your tokens being burned or lost. You can unstake them at any time, although unstaking them too early before the proposal period is over will cancel the improvement proposal. More on that later. 
Now when I send the signature, it requires a confirmation in my MetaMask wallet. And once the signature is saved, the proposal is created. I can see the detail of the proposal here. The creator is identified by his wallet. I see the initial stake of 100 AOTs, no upvotes yet, the description of the proposal and comment section. Posting comments on the platform requires the wallet to hold at least one AOT token to prevent spam from outside. The token is not staked though, so you can reuse the same token for many comments. I can upvote my proposal as well as anyone else's. So if I want to upvote this proposal by 15 AOT tokens, again, I just confirm the signature dialog. 15 tokens from my wallet are locked in the contract. And the proposal is upvoted by 15 tokens. So now, the total upvote value of the proposal is 115 tokens. Here I can cancel my upvotes for this proposal at any time. This will place the 15 tokens back to my wallet, removing them from the proposal upvote count. And I can also cancel the proposal itself. This will give me back the initial amount I staked when creating the proposal plus any additional upvotes I created. Also, any stakes I have placed in my signatures can be seen in my stakes section. And this is the list of all signatures on the blockchain from my wallet containing any AOT tokens as a stake. We can see that some of them have warning that unstaking now will invalidate the action. For example, if I now unstake the signature that I staked during the creation of uh, the last improvement proposal, it will effectively cancel the improvement proposal, moving it to the inactive category. Proposals that have been upvoted and passed the proposal period can be unstaked safely. So I can see that my upvotes for previous improvement proposals that have already been moved to the in consideration section can be unstaked immediately without affecting the improvement proposal or the upvote. And I can do this easily by clicking unstake safe, which will unstake all of my safe signatures in one go. So as described on the signatures and stakes page, no tokens are gained or lost during staking. They are locked for a period of time. And this is to prevent malicious behavior, like transferring tokens from one wallet to another and doing repeated voting. We are currently not enforcing any uh, staking lock period. So your tokens can be unstaked at any time, although it might cancel your action, like upvote or posting a proposal. On the proposals about page, we explain how the proposal period works. Currently, at the first day of each month, two proposals with the highest combined stakes from the creator and upvoters are moved to in consideration category here. And these proposals are being evaluated by the development team. When a resolution is added to them, it will show in the proposal's detail and they will be moved to resolved status category. Once a proposal is in consideration or resolved, any staked tokens can be unstaked safely by all the upvoters and uh, the original creator. Active proposals remain active as long as the initial stake is not unstaked. This means if your proposal is not selected during the first proposal period, it will stay for the next, and so on. Please keep in mind that proposals are not directives. They may be in conflict with project score principles or legal regulations, or for any other reason, they might prove to be ineffective or problematic. So the long-term goal is to move more decision-making to the community over time. 
at this stage uh, we still are required to do a lot of reviews and moderations obviously we are just in the beginning the development team has uh, some capacity so we need to keep the numbers of proposals in consideration according to our capacities the next step when improvement proposals settle and are actively used is to add community voting so unlike proposals that can only be upvoted we will add voting which can be decided in both ways for developers who would like to participate on developing the community platform or integrating the aot signatures functionality into their code there is a signature testing interface where you can issue your signatures on the blockchain using AOT tokens, including stakes and stake locking. So feel free to reach out to us on our Discord server. Okay, this is the beginning of the community platform. More features are obviously coming in the future as we are looking forward to expand on this. I definitely did not cover every detail, so please check the About page for more information about how exactly the platform signatures and proposals work. Also, please keep in mind that uh, this is the first public feature being rolled out and this is the first public testing of the platform. So a lot of the parameters or features may change uh, very quickly in the following weeks or months. As always, thank you for your time. Don't forget to join us on our social networks and check out our YouTube channel for more videos like this.